Friends, I am Professor Kharia. I served the university, Dr. Harishing Gaur Vishwadhyalaya for nearly 40 years. Uh, I taught the students the pharmacognosy and the biochemistry of uh, pharmaceutical biotechnology and related subjects. Today, I am here to discuss the volatile oils which are very important actually from the medicinal point of view. My dear friends, may I recall you that in my previous lecture I discussed three drugs uh, that is cinnamon, cardamom and clove with their medicinal importance. In continuation to the above, today I will be talking to you about four more volatile oil bearing drugs that is eucalyptus, galtheria, valerian and hops. Now today I am hereby starting uh, with module 1 that is eucalyptus. Now eucalyptus, this is commonly known as a nilgiri. Coming to the definition of the eucalyptus, the eucalyptus comprises of leaves of eucalyptus globulus and other species of eucalyptus uh, belonging to family Myrtaceae. Uh, the tree is indigenous to Australia, uh, tree height is up to 30 meters and it is available as cultivated tree in California, uh, grows naturally and cultivated throughout the India, especially around the Uti region. Now coming to the constitution of the uh, leaves, the leaves yield volatile oil that ranges from 3 to 6 percent. It also contains resins and tannic acid. Now eucalyptus leaves yield eucalyptus oil and that oil is colorless or pale yellow liquid. Its specific gravity ranges from 0.901 to 0.902. Its odor is very characteristic, aromatic and somewhat camphoraceous. Camphoraceous means having the smell like camphor. The taste of the volatile oil of eucalyptus is pungent, spicy, cooling. Now coming to the standard and quality of the eucalyptus oil. The eucalyptus oil should contain not less than 70 percent of eucalyptol. The eucalyptol is also known as cineol and along with that a small quantity of philandrine is also present. Now medicinal eucalyptus oil should contain 70 to 85 percent of cineol and less amount of philandrine, aldehydes, terpenes, sesquiterpenes alcohols and phenols. Now here it, it is important to note that many of these minor constituents exhibits irritant properties and hence they are removed actually by redisplation of the eucalyptus oil uh, which is called as rectified eucalyptus oil. The industrial eucalyptus oil has got piperitone and or flandrine as major component which is used and the perfumery grade eucalyptus oil is rich in geraniol and citronellol. Now here it is important to mention that nearly or more than rather 300 species of the eucalyptus are known with different chemical races giving oils of different nature, composition and odor. Now let us have a look actually on the uses of the eucalyptus oil. 
the eucalyptus oil is used as a flavor it is a very good antiseptic it has got the diaphoretic effect that is it promotes the perspiration or the sweating and it is uh, expectorant it is used as deodorant insect repellent sanitary formulations and it is also used in insect mosquito repellent creams now i am coming to the another module under which we will be discussing the gaultheria the another essential oil bearing drug gaultheria is also known as betula sweet birch wintergreen tea berry or checkerberry now coming to the source of gaultheria gaultheria comprises of leaves of gaultheria procumbens it belongs to the family ericaceae and now coming to the geographical distribution it is found throughout eastern united states of america and canada coming to the description of gaultheria it is a perennial evergreen shrub of uh, 5 to 15 meters of height uh, the leaves are alternate and evergreen gaultheria oil is obtained by steam distillation from whole plant of gaultheria procumbens that has been chopped and allowed to stand in water for about 12 hours prior to distillation the herb yield nearly 1 to 1.5% of the essential oil friends in india it is obtained actually from fresh plants of gaultheria fragrantia sima it is found in khasia hills assam in western ghats that is nilgiris near uti coming to the characteristics of it the gaultheria oil is pale or yellow liquid its odor is very characteristic strong and aromatic and the taste is sweet pungent as far as the solubility is concerned gaultheria oil is slightly soluble in water but it is soluble in six parts of alcohol chemical profile of gaultheria oil gaultheria oil contains more than 98% of methyl salicylate formed by the hydrolysis of a glycoside that is gaultherin in presence of water by naturally occurring enzyme gaultherase which is present in the leaves or plant now gaultheria oil also contains an ester that is splits in enantic alcohol and an acid now here it is important to mention that enantic acid enantic alcohol that is n heptyl alcohol and its esters they give characteristic smell which is used to distinguish the natural gaultheria oil from the synthetic methyl salicylate now coming to the uses of gaultheria oil and methyl salicylate the biological action of the gaultheria oil is mainly due to its methyl salicylate which is found in the oil essential oil or volatile oil to a very very high percentage its absorption of methyl salicylate by skin is very fast and therefore it is used as counter irritant uh, it is also used in the treatment of rheumatism for quick relief gaultheria oil is very effective vermicide especially against the hook bombs so used as flavor agents for the candies and in perfumes it is also used as an internal antiseptic but it should be used under proper supervision it is also used in dental preparations gaultheria oil as such and its methyl salicylate are common ingredients of ointments for body pain here it is important to mention that methyl salicylate is used as flavoring agent for preparing cascara sagrada fluid extract now after this we are coming to approaching to another module that module is on valerian valerian is also called as indian valerian or it is also called as tagar as far as the source of valerian is concerned valerian consists of dried rhizomes stolons and roots of valeriana valichi it belongs to the family valeriniaceae 
Now, as far as the geographical source is concerned, valerian is abundant in western Himalayan region and also found in Afghanistan and Pakistan. In India, it grows in Kashmir and Garhwal areas. Now, as far as collection is concerned, uh, roots and stolons of the valerian are harvested or collected in autumn season when the leaves fall. As the content of the important ingredients are more actually after they develop or they are more actually when the leaf fall. Now characteristics of valerian, its color of the rhizomes is dull, it is yellowish brown. Stolons have got the yellowish gray color whereas the roots has got the yellowish brown color. Now coming to the size of the uh, this drug, its rhizomes are 4 to 8 centimeter long and 4 to 20 millimeter thick. The stolons are 5 centimeter long and 2 to 4 millimeter thick, whereas the roots are 3 to 5 centimeter long and nearly 1 millimeter thick. The shape of the rhizome is subcylindrical and it is flattened. Coming to the chemical profile of the valerian, the Indian valerian contains volatile oil uh, up to 1 percent and its color is pale brown. It also contains alkaloids, chitinin and valerian. Another component which is present actually in valerian is valerianic acid. Now coming to the composition of the volatile oil. Volatile oil contains borneol formate, borneol acetate, camphene, borneol isovaleranate and valpotriates or valtrates that is up to 2 percent of the volatile oil. The odor of the volatile oil of valerian is sweet and pleasant. Now I am coming to the European valerian. The European valerian consists of roots and rhizomes of valeriana officinalis and it contains valepotriates uh, to the tune of 0.5 percent of the volatile oil. This percentage of the valepotriate rates is lesser, uh, it is in lesser percentage than what it is found actually in a valici species. Uses of valerian and roots and its volatile oil. Valerian roots and rhizomes possess anti-spasmodic and depressant action on central nervous system and it is also has carminative property. Now all these are used as sedative and tranquilizer to prepare the tinctures, extracts, infusions and medicinal teas for the treatment of hysteria, hypochondriasis, nervous unrest and related emotional stages. In European large number of formulations containing the valerian extracts and valepotriates are used as sedative and for cardiac problems. Now, valerian oil, it is used as tonic and stimulant used in the pharmaceutical preparations, also used for flavoring of tobacco, beer and wines, etc. As far as valpuritates is concerned, its salts are used, these preparations have positive effect in treating epilepsy. Now, here it is important to note that pharmacological or therapeutic activity of valerian is mainly due to valpotriates or valtrate and thus Indian valerian has four times more activity than European valerian. So in a way Indian valerian is superior in quality and in medicinal property compared to European valerian. Now, as far as the storage of valerian is concerned, valerian oil is stored in well filled tightly closed containers away from sunlight in a cold place. Now I am coming to the next module and that pertains to the hops. Hops is another drug which has got essential oil and it has got very much pharmaceutical uses and medicinal uses. It is also called as humulus. As far as source is concerned, hops is dried strobiles of humulus lupulus 
belonging to family Moraceae bearing glandular hairs. Now the plant is perennial herbaceous climber which is indigenous to Europe, Asia, North America and Russia and it is extensively cultivated in England, Germany and various parts of USA and Australia. Now here it is important to note that only the pistillate or the female plants are used in medicine. Coming to the characteristics, hop strobiles is cone like structure which is 3 to 4 centimeter in length. The bracts have immature fruits called acnes. The collection and preparation of the hops, the ripened bracts and fruits commonly known as strobiles are collected. They are carefully dried by artificial heat, pressed and packed into the bales known as pockets. Sometimes hops are treated with sulphur dioxide to improve their color and stabilize the active constituents and thereby also stabilizing actually the odor. Now coming to the phytochemical profile of hops. The hops which comprise of the bracted fruits and stipules they contain mainly the tannins and glandular trichomes. Lupulins are separated from bracts, fruits and stipules. They contain volatile oil to the tune of 1 to 3 percent and also resinous fraction that is up to 80 percent. Now here it is important to mention that volatile oil and resinous portion are responsible for taste and aroma of hops. Now coming to the composition of the volatile oil of hops, the volatile oil of hops comprises of beta myrcene that forms from 30 to 50 percent, humulene another component that comprises from 15 to 25 percent and esters of uh, myrcenol, linalool etc. Now coming to the composition of the resinous fraction of the hops, the resinous fraction of the hop is a mixture of unstable fluoroglucinol derivatives and they contain humulone and lupulone. They isomerizes to produce compounds which possess bitter taste and a bacteriostatic uh, properties. Now because of these properties, hops resin is used in brewery industry. Now coming to the applications and uses of hops, hops possesses a sedative action. It is used as aromatic bitter and it is used as in manufacture of beer and other alcoholic drinks. Now subsequent to this I am coming to the storage of hops. Hops deteriorates upon aging and exposure to the atmosphere and therefore they should be kept away from the atmosphere changes etc. Now, let me conclude actually my lecture on today, which I delivered today. Uh, my today lecture has made you aware about the chemical constituents present in these four drugs and also their therapeutic and medicinal importance. For example, where eucalyptus oil is valued as important mosquito repellent, Galtheria oil with methyl salicylate is used for body pains and rheumatism and valerian is useful in treating hysteria and nervous unrest of the different origin. The another drug hops has mild uh, sedative action. Now on the next lectures friends I will be discussing some more drugs which contains volatile oil and we will also discuss actually what is their pharmacognostic profile and also what are their uses actually in pharmaceutical industry.